Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 8, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily View, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past two days. Large plasma filament ejecting from the southern hemisphere. Watch bottom screen. Last few images. Whap. Massive plasma filament creating a large coronal mass ejection. We've got a bunch of them on their way, so stay tuned. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. More plasma filaments stretching from the surface here. I've been saying we got to watch these over the next little bit. Especially with these very dynamic sunspot regions. X-class solar flares. Speaking of which, we've got two to report today. Having a look here at the last 48 hours outgoing X flare and as well large plasma filament eruption creating a coronal mass ejection. Looking at multi-spectrum here, amazing imagery of our sun and as well very deepening coronal holes both in the north and south right now on both sides of some very fiery sunspot regions. Notable are the plasma filaments that are stretching across the surface of our sun right now. We just had one destabilize and eject into the sun or away from the sun. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look here at five sunspot regions. Going to be keeping an eye on incoming regions. 3852, especially 3848, is now directly Earth facing and has not produced an X flare yet. So stay tuned. Tomorrow could be a very interesting day. As well, notable coming in, sizable sunspot region. Looks to be about three sunspots cresting into view. Current space weather conditions we are under. Level 3 strong radio blackout impacts are expected, and as well, level 3 strong geomagnetic storm impacts throughout the day today and as well last night. Some people were seeing northern lights. Solar winds are coming in at 444 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing the long duration solar flare from yesterday and as well just recently an X1 solar flare being detected. Solar proton Flux was way up last night, and as well, the geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP7 last night. Having a look at our solar winds coming in right now, this is showing the last six hours of solar winds smashing into our planet and depicting our magnetosphere. Space Weather Prediction Center here, and NOAA giving their space weather spiral. Showing a coronal mass ejection is expected here 10th into the 11th of October. A little green circle on the right-hand side of the sun is Earth. And notable, the timestamp of the arrival in the top there, 10th into the 11th of October. Yet another solar storm is on its way. ISPA Space Predictions Spiral showing the most recent coronal mass ejection, something ejecting from the backside of our sun right at Mercury. Speaking of which, Mercury is in our view, but guess who else is? Atlas. That's right, that large comet that has come into view into Earth's orbit right now. Atlas Comet is viewable here. On LASCO 3, just before some very large coronal mass ejections, it comes into view. I wasn't sure what it was last night. I only saw a couple images, but now this is coming through and there's more news coming out about it as this it will be visible right up until the 13th of October. But this is Comet Atlas. There is another name, but I cannot pronounce it. A 2023. AKA Atlas is now in Alaska 3 view. 
and we've got some very large coronal mass ejections on their way. Looking at tonight's aurora forecast and into tomorrow for the northern hemisphere. Nothing like what it was last night. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours around the world. Pretty quiet, but still up. As we're seeing increased seismicity at California. Sizable 4.3 being reported here off the coast of Ferndale, California. And as well, north and south seeing small earthquake swarms. Lots of activity here in Alaska and through the Aleutian Islands. As far north as Point Hope here. Point Hope, Alaska. Very close to the Russian border there. And as well, 4.4 is ringing out towards the Rat Islands region. Philippines seeing a 4.9. Nothing major to report, but notable and deep earthquakes through the regions. Krakatoa volcano there and multiple volcanoes all through Indonesia. There are no new volcanoes to report right now. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours, 5.8 earthquake. Kermadec Islands reported yesterday, followed by three aftershocks. As well as 5.7 here, southeast of Easter Island. That's the second one in the last three days. South America, pretty quiet. Central America, Costa Rica, reporting a 4.8. Quiet across Africa. Romania, reporting a 4.4. Quiet across the Indian Plate. Most of the activity is all around the Ring of Fire right now. The Pacific is lit up and changing quickly. Thanks to all of these incoming space weather events. This is all in correlation, my friends and family. That's what I've been trying to say for seven years here broadcasting on YouTube. Solar cycles are changing our planet. Changing our weather. North American plate. Heads up. We've got something big brewing right up into the northeast region of the Pacific Basin. Now let's have a look at world weather here. Having a look at Zoom Earth, we've got a disturbance that has an early forming signature here. Western regions of Africa. Through Guinea, through Guinea, and as well as Senegal. You're going to see a tropical system forming there in the next few days. We've got Hurricane Leslie. We've also got Tropical Storm Kirk that went right through France and is now post-tropical cyclone heading towards Germany. We've also got a disturbance here that formed east of the Florida Panhandle, Invest Area 93L. Now that is set to gain strength over the next 24 hours, but Milton is also now a Category 5 hurricane yet again. Second time in the past 36 hours. Packing winds of 260 kilometers per hour throughout the night here. Luckily, it is over open water right now. Look at the eye of this beast. My friends and family, this is unprecedented. I've never seen anything like Hurricane Milton. Big changes on our planet. And they're not man-made, my friends. Geoengineering is real. They can manipulate the weather, but they cannot steer and create hurricanes like this. This is a supernatural event. Hurricane Milton will be a devastating, is already a devastating hurricane affecting northern regions of Merida and Cancun over the past 24 hours. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected already by Hurricane Milton. But also thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who will be affected. In Florida, it's still eyeing you up. Southern Tampa Bay region looks like it's going to rake right across the panhandle here tomorrow night. As a Category 3, but we will see. It could be a Category 5 hurricane still. Timing is everything. 
and the sun increases its category, especially when it's got all day to boil it up. Having a look at here, wind models, we've got huge low pressure systems developing through the North Pacific and in the North Atlantic right now. Very strong winds, tight isobars there through Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. And these are going to be some very cold systems as well. Alaska is already going to be seeing at least 150 centimeters of snow in the next couple of weeks. Overlooking the North Atlantic as well, huge systems. If you haven't seen the latest weather forecast, have a look at last night's video, full world weather forecast. This is showing just the low pressure systems, but remember, low pressure brings rain. So all of the moisture is with the lows, high pressures creating dry. Overlooking the Southern hemisphere and Africa, long range forecast, no cyclones developing through the Indian Ocean. No typhoons forming through the West Pacific either. But some very strong lows south of Australia that will be swirling around the continent. Getting ready to switch our planet, or at least switch the Northern Hemisphere into winter and the South into summer. Hope you enjoyed the show, everybody. Please, if you did, smack that like. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.